Oh hi, I'm the Heretic. So it's a new year, 2018, so you know what that means, right? That's right! Time for the World Health Organization to release its classification of diseases for its 11th update. That's what you were thinking about, right? Not the New Year's resolutions or the economy or the slow unraveling of Western civilization. Definitely the World Health Organization. So why bring it up? Are they finally going to get serious about the heroin epidemic in the United States? A problem that kills hundreds of thousands of people a year yet continues to go underreported in the media because collectivists can't extort money out of people the way they do with global warming or racism? Hell no! The real problem, you see, is video games. That's right! In 2018, the World Health Organization is going to make gaming disorder an official mental health diagnosis. The official explanation is that when someone's gaming becomes detrimental to their life, either vocationally, educationally, or socially, and they prefer games to these activities, persistent over a period of at least 12 months, the diagnosis can be made. In all fairness, this does just mean that for health clinics around the world that treat video game addiction, all five of them, though let's be honest, this is a real thing, they can now be reimbursed by health insurance companies as they're now treating an actual, diagnosed illness. Yay! But the problem should be self-evident. Who defines gaming disorder? According to clinical psychologist Anthony Bean, people who study it have no idea either. Instance rates fluctuate violently from 0.8 to those who are studied to freaking 50%. Now that it's officially a mental disorder, what then? Is some pharmaceutical company gonna make some brain-melting drug for doctors to give the kids? I could foresee a future in which gaming disorder, or as it'll be known, GD, becomes a new ADHD, a completely made-up mental illness made for the sole purpose of selling drugs to kids. The way it works is that school kids finding Call of Duty more interesting than their common core math homework will be a symptom of GD. Though the WHO says that they need 12 hours of observation, they also say that in some cases that could be shortened. After all, kids who play Minecraft instead of do social studies homework clearly have a mental illness and need to be drugged right now! You see, children definitely need drugs and aren't just demonstrating how freaking bored they are by public employees being paid with stolen money to throw names and dates at the kids mindlessly nope schools aren't boring at all so they most certainly should never try to appeal to kids or make what should be a profound and deep insight into the nature of humanity the world and the very mechanics of the universe itself anything less than a mindless soulless exercise of monotony routine and regimentation you see schools are never the problem it's those darn kids and all those other people, the ones whose career prospects are non-existent due to taxation and over-regulation of businesses who would otherwise hire them, while entrepreneurship is stifled due to nonsensical licensing laws and enormous taxes and regulatory burdens. Well, you see, the reason they're turning to video games to get any sense of accomplishment in their lives has nothing to do with any of the things I just mentioned. It's all because they have a mental illness and they need to be drugged right now. These people are just the worst. But maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe things won't be as bad as I'm suggesting, and this will be just another oddball story to drop into the memory hole of inconsequentiality. But I am reminded of how, in the Soviet Union, disagreeing with the regime was classified as a mental illness. I just wonder if we're headed in that direction. We don't need politicized <laughs> health organizations to tell us what's healthy and what isn't. But don't take my word for it either. Do your own research. All I know is that there are lizards in the world who want to control us and are going to use every weapon in their arsenal to do so. As though Gamergate didn't already make that clear. So what do you think? What's a better use of the World Health Organization's time? Leave a comment below and thanks for watching.